We've beaten Byblos, we've crushed Kadesh, and now we have to prevent Megiddo from reclaiming their homeland, and you know what, since I'm in a great mood, we're actually just gonna stomp them into the ground. Megiddo has a massive uphill advantage, but Mama didn't raise no bitch, so we're just gonna frontally attack him. We don't care. And I'm not gonna try hard micro that much this battle, just a little bit. Let's just look at the cool units, for example, we're using Canaanite mercenaries here, more likely the Abiru, which was a term for outcasts, mercenaries, and bandits who could come from different ethnic backgrounds. Now we're gonna get a beautiful charge off. Okay, they brace, they're charging in. Throwing the javelins and spear on spear combat is about to begin. Canonite versus potentially Canonite, potentially something else in there. Who will know? J let's just get our trump card on the other side here. So these guys are engaged, but I can actually disengage them. We want to get the Pharaoh at the back, and we want to get our Abiru javelin men so they can shoot up the rear of the unit. There we go. And now we're just gonna get a beautiful flank here with the Nile Clubman. They throw their javelins in the last moment. Clubs in Egypt, stone clubs were, by the time of the late New Kingdom, completely out of use, but this takes uh, at an earlier time, so it's okay. But if you want to learn more about Egyptian weapons, I've got a perfect video for you. That flank by the levies just seemed to have completely crushed Megiddo. Look, that guy just got bashed in the head, fell down. There's just something brutal about the clubs, you know? It's like, you think, eh, what's a rock gonna do? But then you realize, yeah, you're dead regardless, if it hits your head. The Sheridan fighting uphill, they don't care, just doing the work of the Pharaoh. Bringing destruction upon the Canaanites. Let's look at some other units on the side. Eh, perfect. It's Pharaoh o'clock. Now, their chariot is actually trying to charge me, so I'm gonna try to lure them in here. Archers? Oh my god, they auto-follow in the mod. Yeah, that's why. So now I'm in a little bit of a pickle. The Canaanite heavy chariots just caught me, but look at the javelin devastations. Like, this is a general unit. Yeah, I'm letting my javelins get charged, but look at them dropping dead like flies, both my units and the general. Like, just getting any javelins off into them was so worth the havoc. The general alone lost seven men, so I can just countercharge with the Pharaoh, even though the smarter plan would he realistically be here to just, like, swoop in. We're just gonna shoot the Canaanite guy to death. I think that's an applicable uh, solution. Pharaoh's chariots coming in hot and heavy for a charge. They're chasing down Arabian raiders, and during this time period, Arabia had mostly semi-nomadic or nomadic civilizations, like tribes and uh, especially herders, cattle herders. But there was a great center of trade known as Dilmun, located in Eastern Arabia, which was extremely important even in Mesopotamian creation myth, believe it or not. That's how much of a relation they had. So. The, Air the amazing Arab mercenaries here are getting routed. We've crushed their infantry line. This was just a slaughter. Their general just got deleted by javelins despite deleting them when charging. I mean, what do I tell you? It's just AI. AI can't handle a player, especially if you got some... Uh, let's just call it a little bit of a cheesy setup, but it is what it is. Megiddo has been repelled, and now it's game over for them. The warriors of Anubis will execute their enemies without any mercy and send their souls to be judged by the one and only Jackal Gaur. But the war is still not done, and there's more to conquer, more to kill, and more land to grab for the mighty Pharaoh. Megiddo is gone, reduced to atoms, and now we're gonna liberate a faction that's gonna be loyal to the Pharaoh's interests. At least that's what we hope. Well, just as I was invading Yamhad's territory to subjugate them, look who came knocking. Well, we're not gonna let them, you know, wait. We're just gonna go and slaughter him. Yamhad was a powerful Amorite kingdom in northern Syria during the Middle Bronze Age, but by this point they were basically kind of a footnote in history. 
Here, they're equipped with Mesopotamian units, mainly Assyrians, and even Kassite spears. This is gonna be quite the slaughter. The Sons of Montu are charging in, and they just go javelin deep into the Kassites. They don't care, it's time for brutality. That guy gets a long sword through the neck. I'm not even using this as an analogy for something else. It's just really hardy spearmen versus extremely devastating swordsmen. We already all know this matchup goes regardless, but it is what it is. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get the chariots on the other side. My spearmen are unfortunately no match for the Alku Axemen. But like, the Axemen should essentially be nullified by the Sea People as long as we play this correctly. Our spearmen just have to hold. That's their entire job. Hold and let the chariots potentially do some devastating charges just like this. And boom. A little bit satisfying. How much damage did it actually do? Well, probably enough to break them. Meanwhile, these chariots are gonna go on the side. Even though the spearmen are technically not supposed to get trashed this hard by the... Saxmen. I mean, I guess it just works out. Somehow they're holding their lines. The pharaoh's chariots are just chilling and shooting. Can we issue a decisive charge here to mop them up? Actually, yeah, it's perfect timing. The sea people are just destroying... Look, the Assyrian Axemen just can't do anything. That guy took a long sword into the head. Like, no, bro, you just can't. It's sea people. When they set their target on you, you know you're dead. If it's red, it's dead. The good old saying. A bunch of them are retreating from the battleground. The Shadowden are still fighting. They're not relenting. Are they actually gonna chase them? Of course they are, it's all about blood. Okay, those guys forgot their charge order, apparently because something something double click. The Axemen are honestly not as trashing the Spearmen as hard as I thought. Like, Egyptian Spearmen are mid-tier essentially, the Ilku Axemen are not amazing units, but they're still more offensive in the long scale of things. But here we're just holding out maybe the veterancy truly is paying off and they're getting flanked on both sides look at this unit look at these heroes they might have the chariots nearby but the chariots are not really the deciding factor these guys are essentially attacked from both sides and they're still holding even though they're frontally fighting this unit it's it's just so weird two units of axemen and they just cannot land anything like i got so much veterancy on my spearmen that they're actually an equal match for the ilku but now, let's swing the cards in our favor, let's actually get another charge. These guys got enough attention, the, the precursors of the Sea People have been thrown. Now they're going in for that final charge into the back of the Kassites. Look at that shield bash. Okay. Are you guys bailing? We're supposed to have an epic battle. Okay, another one for the head. This is just butcher a clock. I mean, I'm not complaining. I pay these guys good money to literally kill anybody who looks at me the wrong way, so... It's working out, but essentially... Yamhar has been broken. There's nothing anymore left. Why did they even try this? I don't know, I guess they really didn't feel like living anymore. I mean, this is what you get for trying to mess with the Pharaoh's plans. No mercy. Most of Syria is ours after a bloody struggle, but there is just so much more to see, and so much more to explore. Across the sea lies Alashia, the copper-rich kingdom, and we know how important that's gonna be for us. But in the mountains of Anatolia lay the kingdom of Hatti, and who knows what kind of adventure awaits. Potentially continuing? Or potentially a new one? I hope you enjoyed this Age of Bronze mod preview of the campaign, there's a lot more to come. Mod is apparently officially releasing in a couple of days, so if you're excited, get excited. If you liked it, that's great. And if you're crazy enough to subscribe, well, did you just make me a happy historian enjoyer? Anyway, that's it for now. History videos resuming soon, as well as more gameplay. Until the next time.